In this question part, we have to find the acceleration of the particle at t equals 7. This formula from section 5.9 of the formula booklet shows us that a is equal to dv dt, which means that the acceleration function is the derivative of the velocity function. So when we are looking for the acceleration at t equals 7, we can find the value of the derivative of the velocity function at t equals 7. Since this is a paper to question, from here on we'll use our calculator. There are slightly different ways to do this. Here I will go back to the graph that we drew in question part A. To find the value of the derivative at 7, I will press second trace, so second calculate, and here I will choose the derivative, so dy by dx, which is option 6. The calculator here is asking us at what value of x we want to find the derivative, and since this value is 7, I will press 7 and then enter. We can see on the screen that the value of the derivative, so the acceleration, is 5.9343012, which will round to three significant figures. The third significant figure here is 3, and the fourth significant figure is 4. And since 4 is less than 5, we'll keep the 3 as it is, so the acceleration is 5.93 meters per second squared. An exam taking tip to take away from here is that even though you usually don't lose marks if you forget to include correct units with your answer, it is nevertheless good practice to include units where appropriate.